Morning, guys. Hey, guys. This is Tambal Alia from Stingy Nomads, and we're about to leave for our hiking mission in Nepal. So we're going to do first Kung Hill, and then ABC, and then Mardi Himal. So it's going to take us about two weeks, and we'll be drinking our last good coffee. So next two weeks, I think it's going to be instant coffee and milk tea. And yesterday, we got our team cards, which is this. You need it for hiking anywhere in Nepal and our Annapurna National Park permit. So a team permit costs 2,000 rupees and the permit costs 3,000. Nayapur and now we just will find the start of the hiking trail and we'll start walking. Yes. We'll see how far we can get today because it's already what is it 12. Okay, now all our paperwork for today is done. All our permits and team cards and everything checked. And there's a first sign. So, to Pun Hill. We just arrived at Hilly. That's the point you can get by a jeep. So, and then we've been walking for two hours almost. And we've walked about nine kilometers. We still have about two kilometers to go to here is quite a nice place there are tons of tea houses and cafes and restaurants many of them have hot shower and even wi-fi so if on your first day you don't feel like walking all the way to Uleri here is quite a nice place to stay Still going up. Yes, already a bit tired. Looking forward to finish the uphill and get to Oliri finally. There's Gumbo coming there. So there's a sign that says uh, it's five more minutes to Oliri. It's just quite good because uh, we're quite tired. And you can see this five minutes is still all the way up. Yeah, this is quite a tough climb and it's quite hot outside as well. Yeah, make sure you take enough water for this. Hey, here we are at the Oleri. It's almost 2000 meters. Now we're gonna walk around and find a tea house. So we're staying in a majestic guest house in the restaurant, so you can see the name outside there. And this is our room. So it's just a typical tea house. It's a room with a bed, nothing else, and a blanket and two pillows. We're paying 200 rupees, which is about two US dollars for two people. But it's only if we eat dinner and breakfast here. So they always ask you when you come in if you're gonna eat here. So if you eat here, you get it for 200. If you don't, uh, it's more expensive. It's got a big guest house and there at the end there you can see this toilet and shower. We haven't checked it yet, let's see how it looks. Ta -da. Wow, it's even like a proper toilet and a shower and a hot shower. Yay, that's awesome. Okay, 
I think we're gonna shower now and just get some food. Yeah, we had an amazing hot shower now, which I couldn't believe it was really nice. Um, the menu at the restaurant is actually quite a nice menu. There's a lot of different food to choose from. But the prices are like double from what you pay in Pokhara. So it's like all sort of teas and coffees. And coffee, obviously, is instant coffee. Then cool drinks, and they even have muesli and oat for breakfast. Like all kind of soups. So you can see it's about double price because for, I think for chicken soup you pay about 150 or 200 in Pokhara. And the yeah, um, portion of momos costs about 350. Here it's 550 or 600. Yeah, but the menu is quite diverse. They have a pasta and spaghetti and egg, omelettes, salad, sandwiches, so whatever. So what did you get, Kambo? Um, I ordered a mixed omelette. I don't know mixed with what, but... It looks like vegetables. Sort of omelette thing and two chapatis, yeah. like the local bread. I got pasta with onion, cheese and tomato sauce. That actually looks really good. Yeah, it looks, it looks a lot. So we do a whole fall. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> We just started the hike. It's the second day on the Pun Hill track, and we're walking through Uleri village. Oh, it's quite a nice place. There are many tea houses and restaurants. We started at 2,020 meters above sea level today, and I think we're going to climb about 800. Yeah, something like that. We've been walking for 45 minutes. And it's basically, it was like this, just people and people and people uh, since we started. Yeah, looks like it's quite a popular hiking route in Annapurna region. So you can see some people hike independently, uh, like us. <laughs> some people, they hire porter that carry their backpacks. So they hike, they walk with their day packs. And some people, they hike in groups. Then you don't need to worry about anything. Your guide arranges everything, all your food, your accommodation, the route. You just follow the guide. So uh, it's another village in the way, not Gethani. And there are again a couple of tea houses and restaurants. Maybe uh, I just said it, I don't know. <laughs> but that's one thing about trekking in Nepal. If you go down, you have to go all the way up again. Uh, after like two and a half hours, looks like we arrived in Goripani. And guess what? We just had a sign that they have Real coffee, espresso, and cappuccino is super exciting. Yeah, Campbell especially is excited. Absolute highlight of the day. We found a tea house. We're staying in Hotel Glacier. That's the one that has a uh, good coffee <laughs> and pastries. Looks like it. So it's our it's our room. So we no beds. Nice and snugly and warm with a book, and it's raining outside now, quite hard. And it's quite chilly outside, like we have this no, no, stove inside. So I just want to close the we just got our dinner and we said it looks quite nice. I'm having tomato with mushrooms, onion and cheese. Good morning. There is yeah, something for the fire. 
and we are going up to the viewpoint to see the sunrise from Poon Hill. On the top of Poon Hill, on the, on the tower, and it's actually hilarious how many people are around. It's just, it's just we're waiting for sunrise, it's supposed to be over there. Yeah, and you just see people coming and coming, and there are really many people around. It's just super crowded. Yeah, it's about what 6 15? Yeah, probably. Or and later. it's sunrise on Poon Hill. It took us about 35 minutes to walk up here. And we're sharing this beautiful view with hundreds um, and hundreds of other people. Maybe a hundred or no, two hundred yeah. other people. Yeah. We're ready to go down back to our tea house. Uh, start packing and have some breakfast. Uh, but they see still many people are watching the sunrise. And here it is. We're walking down to Goripani village from Poon Hill. And this is well, our walk up was quite tiring and tough, but the walk down is really difficult because it's icy and snowy and we don't have walking sticks, so it's really slippery. So you can see Kambulu is struggling. Slippery. So that is Upper Goripani and down there is Lower Goripani. So we're staying in Lower Goripani. And the difference is just yesterday we didn't have to walk up with our backpacks. Yeah, but I think in the morning they have a little bit less uphill walk uh, from the high, high Goripani than from low Goripani. So you decide whichever way you go. So the trails to Poon Hill from both villages. We, we're back in our cozy but not very warm <laughs> room in the tea house and it's snowing outside very dramatic morning um Alia's phone was missing so we came back to the tea house, um, unpacked everything. We were super convinced that's no way. And then at the end, it was rolled inside a sleeping bag. So, I don't know, it's super annoying. Um, and now it's like an hour and a half later, we're drinking coffee, we're back at the tea house. But we've still got enough time for the day. And at least we found the bloody phone. So it's actually a good thing. We just started walking from Garipani to Tarapani. And today it's actually mainly downhill. But like anywhere in Nepal, before you can start walking downhill, you have to go uphill a couple of hundred meters. We finally made it to the top of the path. Well, and I must say, actually, views are in a way even better than from from Blue Hill. How you can see, it's like a 360 degrees panoramic view. There's Annapurna Mountain. Oh, it's really breathtaking. It's been like 30 minutes of walking in this ice snow. So we don't really have crampons, we don't even have walking sticks. It is actually quite slippery. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you can see some people have crampons, which makes it easier for walking in this snow ice. You can see some people struggling on the way down, basically like a skiing downhill. <laughs> That's quite cool. On one side there's a lot of snow. Another side is like a green and waterfalls. We finally arrived at Tadapani and we're having lunch. Oh, I'm starving. <laughs> we haven't had anything to eat today. So this is the village of Tadapani. That's an option to stay if you don't feel like walking two more hours to Gadru. And if you're already tired enough after today's walk. It's like a typical village with many tea houses and uh, 
food places, some shops and souvenir shops. Gandruk, but Campbell is not here. I was, it was, I don't know, it started raining and wind was really strong, so I just started to first big house. Well, funny, we're in Gandruk. We came from Goriponi today. Um, we're staying in Gandruk guest house. Yeah, we have an awesome little room here. And there's busy making coffee. Really nice, but check the view. Our view is unreal.